So in this video, I want to introduce you to pulleys and pegs. Okay, so uh, pulley problems really come in two different varieties. Okay, so if you're uh, studying uh, just AS maths, okay, then uh, the types that you will meet involve either two weights hung freely. Okay, so maybe something like that, over a smooth peg, okay? Consequently, the type of problem that you're then going to have to deal with is thinking about the weight of these particles working downwards. Uh, there's going to be tension in the string going around the pulley, okay? And more, what, what usually happens is the question will say um, that the particles are held where they are and then are released from rest, what happens next? Okay, so if this particle is heavier than that one, then this will move downwards, this will move upwards, so this would accelerate downwards with acceleration of A, and this one will accelerate upwards with acceleration A. Okay, and our job would be to find uh, the acceleration of the system, uh, the tension in the string, um, if we knew kind of how far that particle was away from the ground, then we could work out when it hits the ground, or the velocity it hits the ground, um, things like that, okay, using the SUVAC equations. So SUVAC can come back in here. An alternative uh, diagram that you could incorporate here is um, one of the particles being on a tabletop, and it is connected by string around a pulley and over the top, over the side of the table, is another particle, okay? And so what you then have to deal with is thinking, well, this one will have some weight, that will have weight working downwards, there'll be a normal reaction force for this one because it's on the tabletop, uh, there'll be tension in the string here and here, okay? Um, if the table's smooth, then there might be a frictional force. If the table's rough, there might, might be a frictional force working against that direction of motion. And if this particle is heavier than this one, uh, otherwise it won't be a very interesting situation, then this will be accelerating downwards, this will be accelerating towards the right. Okay, so you've then got to think about uh, in which direction you're resolving. Okay, so these are like the two main types. So that's if you're, te if you're studying AS. Um, if you're studying the full A level, then you're going to have to deal with situations where maybe the particle is on uh, a, an inclined plane. So at an angle, here is the particle, and maybe there is a pulley here, and then we've got another particle here. It's kind of similar to this situation, uh, but the table is on uh, an inclined at an inclined angle. So you've got the weight of this particle working downwards, you've got the normal reaction force working that way, uh, the weight of that particle, you've got the tension in the string, okay? Um, if this particle is heavier than this one, then we're going to be accelerating this way, okay, and then up the table, okay? Acceleration A. So, uh, and if the uh, surface is rough, then there's going to be this frictional force working against me, okay? So, these are the situations that you will have to deal with, but this one only for the full A level, okay? Um, so we're going to go through several of these examples in the next few videos, um, ramping up the difficulty as we go.